So today we'll have a look at the um, CFP uh, two zone conventional fire alarm panel. So um, this is part code CFP 702-4, which is the two zone EN54 CFP panel. So we'll just do a quick um, unbox and see what you actually get uh, here in the packet. So there's a, an outer leaf and an inner leaf. And then the panel sits inside that. So we can move that out of the way. Um, so inside it we get uh, the instruction manual, the installation maintenance manual, two control keys for the front of the panel. Um, if you don't use the control keys, you can also operate this panel using um, the codes. So inside here we get the key for opening the panel, a little uh, instruction booklet, the maintenance installation maintenance manual. And also we have the um, user manual and logbook, which is useful, you know, you can pass that on to the, the client when you're finished installing the job. Um, there's bits and pieces here, just certificate of commissioning. Now this is the BS5839, the, the UK version of this, so if you're working to the Irish standards, you'll need um, you'll need something else um, to follow the standard paperwork. There's a little logbook and everything else, so if you just want to leave this with, with um, customers on site, it's a, it's a convenient way of doing this, or, you know, take the information generated into your own paperwork but it gives full instructions on how to um, how to use the panel generally we find you actually need to give the the customer or um, the client a run through on the system before you leave site so that they know how to use it um, but it's all there it's all pretty clear on that um, it's a fairly detailed installation and maintenance manual um, full technical spec on the back page with there in terms of your your number of um, detection circuits and power supply outputs and the, the usual kind of bits and pieces you need. Details of the end of line resistors and the the um, capacitance for the, the, the end of lines for the sounders and that kind of stuff. So full detail manual there on um, how to set up the different zones and coincidence and all the other bits and pieces you might need. But today we'll just have a, a, a quick look inside the panel. So you get your, your Allen key with it here to, um, to open it. It's just these two screws. So it's a neat, um, neat panel. It's very clearly uh, colour coordinated on the front of it here in, in, in terms of how you um, accept and reset and acknowledge the alarm and everything else. And everyone on the panel, I always liked this. It was always a nice feature that um, CTEC had actually put the, the details of how to um, set and reset uh, an alarm or, or deal with a fault or an activation on the front of the panel. So you're not necessarily relying on somebody leaving you um, a full set of operating instructions next to the next to the wall when they're done so um, it's there and it's all useful information so you won't screw out so. this is a, a brand new um, panel out of our store so the screws haven't been out of this one yet so they're a little bit harder to open than, than they normally might be so this just clips off there's just um three clips at the top there that you can see that that slot into 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 here so that's how you, you lever the panel on and off inside the panel we get the um, capacitors uh, for the end of line for the detection circuits and the end of line resistors for your bell circuits so if we just take a, a, a quick closer look at this we have on on here we have our our zone one and zone two so you wire them out to your field devices full details in the manual there and you have four sounder circuits which is a really nice feature um, if you're trying to divide up a building or for fault finding or it, it just suits your your circuit runs and um, generally a little bit more advantageous on the the four zones where you might actually have split a building into to four individual zones but it, but it's there it's a, a nice feature the um, outputs we've a, a 24 volt ancillary output and we obviously have um, remote um, monitoring resets we've a number of augs relays um, normally open normally closed the same with the fault so if you're dialing out digi dialers to to monitored centers that type of thing you have you have all of that um information there for you if you need it so <clears throat> this we still have even when we have the front cover off it again it's a nice feature here if you're commissioning or working on one of these systems you can actually um see all the buttons while you're you're inside it here so you can do your accept and reset on all of that just 
with the cover off because sometimes it can be a little bit irritating once if all the information is on the, the front cover. Once you've taken the cover off, it gets a little bit more um, difficult to see what you're doing, but it's here and it's it's all uh, it's all labelled through, throughout all of it. So uh, in at the back here, buried underneath this board, if you if you ever need to get at the power supply, um, it's in at the back here, and these screws uh, just come off and then unclip, so it's it, it's very um, easy to access this. So generally, you'll find uh, there's indications here, kind of pre-dimpled for maybe drilling out for your your cable access. Um, we find that some panel manufacturers are now starting to move away from the, the knockout entry um, part of this, that it's easier to just drill them out when you need them in the exact location for your cable entry. So that's that's a nice uh, a nice move forwards here. So generally that's what it looks like inside one of these. Um, you have your, your connections, your terminations, plenty of space in here. Your batteries go in here, good long leads on that. And uh, you have a cable tie that comes with that to secure your um, generally 12 volt 2.2 amp hour batteries go into this but obviously you'd you'd need to measure your consumption um, required for your standby time and all that kind of stuff so that's just a, an overview of that so I'll just put this one back together so just as it comes is your, your battery packs in there and then your front cover slides on over the top first goes in and then you have your two screws here If you want any more information on the CFP panels, get in touch with us here in the office, info at comsec.ie. Thanks very much.